we are live. My name is Cindy. You are on my YouTube channel here, Monarch Mom DIY. And I'm excited to be here crafting with you live this evening. Today is Wednesday, April 10th. And if you did not see my live on Monday, you may not know that um, on my sorry, my, for some reason on my phone, my live is not starting. Um, on my Magnolia website, starting today, we had a bunch of previously retired faith and inspirational stencils released from the vault. So I showed a bunch of those on Monday night. I'm going to show them to you again tonight really quickly, just in case you weren't there, in case you missed it. There we go. YouTube's being silly on my phone. There we go. All right. Um, and then I have kind of the beginnings of two or three different, um, different projects using those stencils. So let me know in the chat as you're hopping on. Um, hopefully YouTube will get those notifications out. If you are subscribed to my Telegram broadcast, you got a message from me about 20 minutes ago that I would be going live. Why does this look different than it did on Monday? I have no idea. I'm going to turn it sideways and that's not helping. How is everyone tonight? We broke the system. We did? Well, I think it's because all those craft club re renews went through today. I didn't hear about the system breaking. You'll have to fill me in on that, um, Marlene. I'm just trying to get this pulled up on my phone here. All right. Oh, good. It looks like YouTube's getting some notifications out. That is awesome. Very, very good. Hi. Is that why your credit card got declined? Oh, my. Uh, did you just try to do this, Amy? Just saw it before I saw Oh, on Facebook? Interesting. Interesting. I didn't see that because I was, um, what was I doing? I was on my computer and then I was at Bible study and then I came home to do the live. Where's my live chat? So that'll be interesting. We'll have to see what is happening with that. All right, I don't know why this isn't turning. Oh, goodness. Why do you hate me? All right, well, I guess I'm keeping it this way. Hello, hey, Karen. All right, so um, when I went live shortly uh, today on, on Facebook, I had not shown on Facebook all the stencils um, that were on sale starting today, not on sale, sorry, for sale. They were previously retired. Um, and I asked which ones I should do a project with tonight on YouTube. Oh yeah. So I would just try again, Amy. Um, so the three that people kind of wanted to see were the serenity prayer. This one was previously retired. It is currently available. Um, give us this day our daily bread and one that was a craft club stencil. So there's about, um, I don't know, four or five that are available individually for sale right now on my website that were not previously, even for creators, because they were part of the exclusive craft club. So if you were not a member of craft club, the month that this stencil was part of the kit, you did not get this stencil. So you can now purchase just this stencil. This is probably the one I'm leaning towards using, but um, I have only because I kind of really know what I want to do with that one. But I'm just going to flip through the rest of these really quickly. True Story is a five by seven. I love this one too, Sunshine. When you can't find the sunshine, be the sunshine. And I love the sunflower. The Amazing Grace Sheet Music. 
And it also comes with these big words that say Amazing Grace. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Be confident from Philippians. Hashtag blessed is a five by seven. Child, I am a child of God. Here's one you could get to get started on your summer patriotic DIYs. Faith, family, freedom. Family, love is what this one's called. I love the cursive font of that. Here's one to get started on some fall. Grateful hearts gather here. This one was a new fall stencil a couple of years ago. Um... Oh, Christina. And uh, this is called Grateful Hearts. We have a five by seven. God is good. Got took out of my cart. Uh, how long ago, Stephanie? Because those were both on there last time I checked. Begin each day with a grateful heart. Grow happy thoughts. This is the one I did Monday on my YouTube live. Um, this was a craft club stencil that I absolutely love. If you can get that one, if you love flowers, he heals. Oh, Stephanie, I would check again because um, I think those are available. It is well with my soul. This is another one that is very versatile because you have the whole thing. Or you could just use the floral wreath and put some other words in the middle. Joy comes in the morning. Five by seven, let your light shine. This five by seven, life is good, was part of a craft club. It's hard to see, but these are flowers and butterflies because um, I used ink, and so it's hard to see the design. Hi, Amy. Oh, she'll keep us informed. Okay. Life, I think it's called Life Rules. I keep calling it Life Lessons, but I think it's Life Rules. I love this one. This one was available when I first joined as a creator and I got it. Um, so this is great. You can use the whole thing. You can use individual words from it. It's awesome. Here's a Christmassy one that's available right now that will not be available again. She will have birth to a son and you are to give him the name Jesus. Work hard, pray harder. These are the quads, meaning you get four different stencils. They're all verses from Proverbs 31, um, which would be great for Mother's Day. Saved your life. Yes, Christina. Amen. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Not all storms come to disrupt your life. Some come to clear your path. I like that. It's not scripture, but it almost sounds like it is. Thankful and Blessed was a craft club stencil last fall. I love this stencil as well. I love the font. You can use it with or without the pumpkins and leaves. Then Sings My Soul. I love this with the church. This was a craft club stencil as well. Today is a good day to have a good day. And Woman of Faith. There are a few more that I did not have in my stash. So you'll want to go to my website, monarchmomdiy.com, and the category is pop-up release. That's where all of those stencils are located, okay? You think the, yes, the serenity prayer. So I was thinking, this is a, one of my favorite surfaces that we have. It's wood. It's a wood cutting board, but it's got this chalkboard in the middle that's like 12 inches square. Maybe it's 11 inches. Um, even where the painter's tape is here is chalkboard. I taped this off because I think I want to paint the chalkboard. I've always kept it the wood color, but I think I want to paint it tonight. And I was thinking of doing this shine like a sunflower on here and then probably doing some sort of ribbon across here or a bow. What do you guys think about that? Oh, thank you, Shelly. That's so sweet. Yes, this is called... I think it's just called cutting board. I think it's just called cutting board. And it's pretty lightweight. Um, and actually, look, you could do something on the back, too. It just doesn't have the chalkboard. Are they only for paste? Uh, or can you use paint? No. With our mesh stencils, you would only want to use our chalk paste or our ink. Um, because there's tiny, tiny holes 
And our paste and ink are formulated to go through like a silk screen and not get clogged, okay? So you don't want to use regular paint with these stencils because it would ruin them. Um, the other thing, I don't think I have time to do this tonight, but look at this book box. I got this at a thrift store for $2.00. And I thought, how pretty would this be if I covered it maybe with some paper, painted it, and then did the serenity prayer on the front? Or, or should I do the serenity prayer on the inside of the cover, and then I could do something pretty here, like with some flowers, and then it would be displayed like this. I should pick, <laughs> I'm just showing you some ideas. So this might be tomorrow on Facebook, I'm thinking. I'm doing Craft Around the Clock at 1 p.m. Eastern. I'm thinking I'm gonna do this project. I just need a little more time to get it ready. Um, and then the other one is the Give This, give, give Us This Day Our Daily Bread. This is one of our 12 inch MDF rounds. Um, you can paint it, you could Mod Podge. I have this pretty paper that I've used, I've shown you before. It's from Hobby Lobby Theodosia Square. I thought, you know, a real um, pretty, like, neutral background would be pretty. Um, and then with the words, give us this day our daily bread. But I think I'm going to go ahead with the cutting board and the sunflower stencil for tonight. So what I want to do first, like I said, I have taped this off. I want to with a chippy brush, a raggedy bow with a tag. Ooh. Oh, you mean a messy bow. You mean a messy bow, Patricia, where it's just crisscrossed and then I tie it in the middle. That would be pretty. All right. I don't necessarily need the white paint to be completely solid. I will probably sand a little bit after I paint it, but I'm just going to use my white Waverly chalk paint and we're going to make this cutting board mostly white. I think this is what I want to do. We'll see. I can always start with a little. I can come back and add more. I mean, I want it kind of covered, and I am not liking that this brush is kind of shedding. That's annoying. Nobody wants bristles on their project. All right, so I'm going to mostly cover with the paint and then I'll probably come in with my little sander. All right, and if you guys can be on the lookout for me, if there's any suspicious comments, um, feel free to report. And when I see anything, I will, oh, I gotta get a different brush, that's just annoying. I will um, uh, remove people. Hope I don't have to do that tonight but you never know. And you don't always have to paint things white. I mean, if you, I could have painted, you know what else would have been cute would be to paint this yellow because, um, you know, the sunflower, obviously I'm gonna do yellow. And I am gonna go up and around the edges here too. Thank you, Stephanie. Aw, Christina and Amy, you guys are so sweet. I don't know why, after two and a half years, I well, five years actually on YouTube, I still get nervous. No, what if nobody likes what I make? That thought still crosses my mind sometimes. But I, when I first started, I decided, you know what? Um, I'm going to make what I like, and if people don't like it, that's okay, because I'm the one who has the finished product, <laughs> and... You know, um, yeah, so if I like the idea or how it turns out, then it's a win, right? And I hope other people like it. All right, I'm going to come do this tiny strip at the bottom here. Maybe a little bit more paint. And then we'll kind of let that dry. How we doing? Aw, oh, thanks, Sean. Thank you, Loki. 
All right. Got a little on there. All right, I feel like I might need a little bit more up here. And then we're just gonna dry this. I'm gonna throw this brush away because it's yucky. I'm gonna dry this with our heating tool so we can move along. Now, the fact that this is a chalkboard, if you're not aware, um, when you use our chalk paste, on a chalkboard, it will dry semi-permanent. Like I'll be able to rub it and it won't come off. But if I decide I wanna change what's on this cutting board, I just spritz some water on it and I can remove it. That goes for all of our chalkboard surfaces, which is awesome. So you can buy this one surface and you could change out the stencil whenever you want. Uh, yeah, Joanne. It looks like I flicked a little bit of paint on there, so I'm going to have to get that off first. All right, now, it seems that this wood, there's a little bit of a yellow tinge coming through the white, but uh, let me get the, yeah, let's get the 220 sandpaper here and I'm just gonna sand it in some spots you just stress it a little bit more like on the edges of the wood kind of like that look I'll show you as soon as I'm done. Okay, let's. All right, so there's the top. I don't know if you can see, I like sand it around the edges there so it's a little distressed. Let's do the same thing to the bottom piece. How many of you have used this surface before, this cutting board with the chalkboard? <laughs> um, I, I'm keeping an eye on it, Karen. Thank you. Okay. Oops, my phone just fell over. There we go. All right. So the 220 doesn't make it very smooth. If you want it smooth, which I'm not stenciling on the wood. Oops, that made it... You can smooth it out with the 400, but because I'm not stenciling on this, it's not really necessary. All right, so now I'm gonna take my painter's tape off. I was just using that so I didn't get any paint on the chalkboard. Yeah, so the fact that this surface um, can be reused, is awesome it makes it such a great value because if you don't have a lot of space for a lot of different decor you could get this one cutting board and then in the fall do a fall stencil and in the you know around independence day do patriotic and you could just keep changing out your stencil and just keep the one surface you could even change out the ribbon that you make a bow on the top all right that is done <clears throat> All right, I didn't get that on there, right? There we go. Okay. So, for this stencil, because it's on a black background, um, I'm going to do mustard seed for the sunflower, I'm going to do glittering copper for the inside, and then I'm going to do white and white for the words, okay? Yeah, Cookie, some people were having trouble. They said um, apparently on the creator group that 
we overloaded the system. So um, they're going to keep us posted. So I will message you when I hear that it's all good. I would just keep your stuff in your cart, okay? <coughs> Excuse me. Whew. All right, so I'm going to fuzz this stencil a little bit, meaning I'm just going to get a little bit of uh, lint from my tacky towel on the back so that it doesn't stick so much to my chalkboard. Besides glass, a chalkboard is probably the, the stickiest surface. In other words, because it's so um, smooth. All right, so let's center this. I think I'm gonna do my folding trick where I'm gonna fold the stencil in half and give myself a little crease right there at the top in the middle so I can line that up with the top of the surface. It's very helpful. All right, then from the center, I'm gonna press it out, smoothing it down on my chalkboard. All right, yes, a stencil can be used on glass. I would just really, 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 really fuzz it a lot because you don't, uh, you don't want to be um, having to pull it and stretch it out of, out of space. Miss, how long is the vault going to be open? I believe it's May 7th, but once this, I don't know how many there are of each stencil. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Um, so once they're gone, they're gone. So I don't know like how many of this stencil there are available. All right, now, oh, I wanted to show you. Do you see how the word goes right through the middle of the sunflower? So I'm definitely gonna wanna use paintbrush squeegees for this. Um, our regular squeegee will be perfect for these big words at the top because they're not touching anywhere that a different color is going to go. So I can use a regular squeegee, but where the petals are close to the letters and where the middle is close to the letters, I'm going to want to use paintbrush squeegees. Oh, you got locked out. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. All right. So we have these paintbrush squeegees. These are the two that I use the most. They're both flat, like a paintbrush. This one obviously is about twice as wide as this one. But these are great for getting in here. Um, I can use one of these regular ones for most of the mustard seed. The two I lost in this one. Aw. Oh, because you already put the order in from before. Well, have you used your 10% off coupon yet, Stephanie, as a new creator? Don't forget to use that. I would actually use that on a larger order because it's off an entire order. But, um, all right, I'm going to, I decided to start with the glittering copper. I'm going to do this middle part in here. with my skinnier paintbrush squeegee. All right, and anyone who's keeping an eye on the website issues, feel free to give us updates. Okay. You used it already. I just really love, uh, so what I'm, what I'm using this week for my lives are like my favorite of the stencils that are in the pop-up. So Monday I used the Grow Happy Thoughts. I love that one. It's so versatile. And then tonight using this one. And then I showed you the other two that I'll probably use the rest of this week. I think for sure I'm going to do the Serenity. Oh, I got a little bit of 
glittering copper where I want white later. Okay, I think, I think I got all the glittering copper. Let me show you real quick. See, right there in the middle. Now I'm gonna let that set for a second before I do the white around it. I'm gonna come in now with my mustard seed. Uh, Cindy, which one do you think was gone? Cause they might've put more in. All right, I'm gonna do as much as I can with my regular squeegee. And then I'll come in with the paintbrush squeegee close to the words or the middle. Yeah, I can't, oh, I'd be so sad, Christina, if I couldn't craft, so I can only imagine. I can't wait for you to be all better. Another reason that a chalkboard surface is a good one to start with is, like I said, you can if I do this whole stencil and it comes out and I messed something up, no big deal. I just clean it off and I can start again. All right, I think, I think I need to get a smaller squeegee now. I'm gonna use one of these wider ones, wider paintbrush squeegee to get in here in these smaller spaces. And you go right up to the other color, which is nice. How we doing, everybody? I love the paintbrush squeegees, and they're so affordable. I think it's like eight dollars maybe for the set of four which is a really good deal uh yeah cindy i would probably check because i think it's probably available again but of course you know then you'd have to pay shipping again so you'll have to kind of weigh that of how much you want it and how much the shipping would be Okay, let me show you again, step two. Now I've got the whole sunflower done. I just have to do my words now. So I'm gonna do, um, I'm gonna do the big words at the top first, and then come in with my paintbrush squeegee and do the ones that are in the middle of the flower. All right, shine like a sunflower. Okay, and let's get a skinny one. This part takes a little bit of time because it's cursive and I gotta try not to get it on the other colors.
part takes a little bit of time just because you're trying to go in between the other colors. And honestly, if you mix the colors a little bit on the words, it's not the end of the world. But if you hate it, you can come back and do it again. Chalkboards are very forgiving. So I think I got a little bit of yellow maybe in the word. But who knows, maybe I'll love how it looks. Okay, so this is what it looks like before I peel the stencil. Looks like a mess, right? Looks like a mess. Let's come and do our peel and reveal. I did get a little bit of yellow in the word, but I think it looks, I think it looks pretty cool. What do you guys think? Do you like that? <laughs> Christina. I love it. It looks so pretty. And then I think I'm going to do some black and white gingham ribbon. You can just wrap some, because there's a lot of space right here. Let me see. Did I use this one? Okay, let me grab the ribbon that I have. Um... Well, where'd it go? Oh, here. Now these pieces came in a craft club. I don't even know which craft club it was, but if I remember correctly, I think the piece is long enough. Oh yeah, very long. So what do you guys think about adding that? Should I add this? Or should I just tie a bow at the top? I kind of like this. I could even do a thinner one at the bottom too, or just uh, or just leave that white, 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 and then just wrap a piece of this around. What do you guys think? Oh, you're right, Marlene. You're so good. It was the thankful and blessed table runner. Looks like the words are outlined with black. Yeah. I mean, if you look really close, like to the F and the L, you can see there's a little bit of yellow on there, but uh, yeah. Or so I could spray this right now with water and wipe it off. I could let this dry and then spritz water on it. So the, the idea with our chalk paste is water reactivates it. So, um, that's why you can easily clean your stencils too, is um, the water cleans off the stencils really easily. Yeah, I think, you think wrap instead of doing a bow? I think so. Let's get my, let's get my hot glue on here. Doesn't take too long to heat up. And I'm not going to need to use this whole piece. I keep snagging on the, all right, so I think I only used like half of that. It is a wire edged ribbon. That's going to make it easier to kind of wrap it around and to kind of straighten it from being folded. Yeah, so I think this will be my last step with this project. And again, this is called cutting board. This would be in the surfaces um, category on my website, monarchmomdiy.com. And then this stencil in particular is in the pop-up release category. All right. So as soon as that is heated up, we will glue that. The nice thing too about just putting a little bit of glue on your ribbon on the back 
is then if I decide I want to change out the stencil, um, I can just pull this ribbon off because I'm not gluing it all across here. Um, and uh, yeah, so you can change out the ribbon too. Was someone asking about website? Yeah, uh, Sherry, the stencils are at monarchmomdiy.com. That website will take you to my Magnolia website that has the stencils, the surfaces, the chalk paste, and squeegee paintbrushes that I used. Um, it's a company. It's like a... It's like Pampered Chef or something like that, where we as creators have our own websites. Yes, you're welcome. All right. So my next time live will be tomorrow, 1 p.m. Eastern on my Facebook page. So my Facebook page is the same name. Okay, is my same name, Monarch Mom DIY. I will be there at one o'clock, probably doing the book box with the Serenity Prayer um, stencil. So, all right, as soon as this is warmed up, this should be dry. Let me just blast it real quick to make sure. The other thing I could do is um, I could clean my stencil, bring it back, and just redo the word sunflower if it bothered me a lot that there was some yellow on there. Um, okay, so... There. Okay, that's the website you'll go to. All right, so carefully now, get just a little bit of glue to squirt out of here. I don't need a lot. It doesn't need to look super pretty on the back. Just want it flat across the front. And there we go. Strings. Yay! Well, thank you guys so much for joining me for this live. Um, yeah, you can go to my website and hopefully the stencil is still available. The cutting board, the chalk paste colors I used were mustard seed, glittering copper, and white. Thank you. Thank you so much. I don't think I'm going to sell this one on my craft show. I think I'm going to keep this one for me. And just I can be able to change it out. So when new stencils come out... I can show you how I can clean this one off and um, change it out, the stencil. Hi, Joan. Oh, yeah. The adhesive reusable stencils are way better than, like, the plastic ones that you have to uh, tape down. And then they don't fully seal to your surface. So usually you get a lot of bleeding. These, the adhesive mesh stencils, give you a gorgeous gorgeous image. All right. Well, thanks everybody. And I will see you next time. Bye.